like a lot of immigrant families, and I'm the oldest child. I immigrated with my parents. So I'm that generation that is the bridge, the transition between the attitudes of the parents coming from a different culture and the attitudes of my younger sisters who were born in the United States and are very American. And so I always had this sort of I'm in and I'm out feeling. Um, and then I was very, very good in math from a very young age. So I kind of grew up with a somewhat outsider um, attitude, but also a certain amount of um, defiance about it. And so nothing makes me push forward more than being told it's a direction that I shouldn't go, that girls shouldn't go, that women shouldn't go, that you don't belong because you're not whatever. And so going into math, which was an area where I had talent, but where women were not necessarily welcomed in my generation, it was almost like, tell me I can't do it and I'll show you that I can. Then I took the master's in uh, computer science and I was older than many of the students and I had taught. And when the teachers became very opaque, I would, I had the self-confidence to think that, well, if I didn't get it, probably nobody got it. So I would raise my hand and say, excuse me, could you just back up a little and re-explain that? And when I first did that, all the young men who sat in front of me were like, oh, who's that? That's that older person. And it was almost like I was intrusive. But then it reached the point about three or four weeks into the term where whenever the instructor got opaque, they're all looking at me saying like, you know, aren't you going to stop him? We need him to be stopped. So I was able to develop a level of acceptance, um, you know, in all of these different environments that were supposed to be, you know, not as friendly or open uh, to women. But you have to have that internal conviction that what you're doing is important, that you are capable of doing it, and that just because people give you negative feedback, you have to listen to it to see where the truth of it is, and if there is truth, react to it. But you also have to have the self-confidence of saying, how much of this is just prejudicial and I'm really doing just fine? And you know that has to sustain you, that sort of inner sense of mission and um, commitment to the work you're doing.